Hi, this is Paul from globaltradingsoftware.com and this is a futures trading tutorial uh, specifically for the Ninja Trader platform using our roller coaster. And this has come from a question from one of our new users. So um, using Renko and UniRenko with a roller coaster is very, very good. Um, but one of the questions he's had was a certain instance, uh, which was yesterday um, during the set during the trading session, in that uh, he didn't quite see this trailing stop position there at break even. Uh, so one of the things one of the things we really have to do with the roller coaster is we take the trades we take the long so the roller coaster is a combination of the stochastic macd cross with a few extra little um, points of control there to to really get that roller coaster motion of the ups and downs but sometimes the ups or the downs are only small moves like on a roller coaster but some of them are large we don't know uh, when we enter these trades where they're going to be but we do know uh, most of the time when we go up we come down and then when we've come down we go back up again just like a roller coaster uh, so what we got to do is make sure we take those trades but be very very conscious of this trailing stop position so we print a green arrow here and that is the entry here so when we're trading this manually we need to be looking at probably market orders um, when we when we get this first green arrow print and this this block close on the Unirenko, uh, we're ready to go. And when it breaches that green, we just do a market order. It's very, very difficult to do uh, stop market orders for that quickly because the Unirenko settings are two, three, four here. So let's go to my uh, data series here. We see Unirenko tick trend is two, open offset is three, tick reversal is four. So it's a scalping strategy. Um, so we get in, it moves up, starts to come back down, comes back through the entry, then pushes back up again. And then eventually at this point here, we see the trailing stop just printed around about break even. We get out the trade because we have to be prepared to then go short after the long. And we got two bricks later and we get the short down arrow signal here on this on this block. That block closes. We're ready to go short. We do a market sell and we're short. Stop loss position is here. And then every time we get a block close, we adjust with the tr this trailing stop line until we're taking out. And don't second guess this because once we're taken out, you see here another couple blocks later, we get a green arrow up and we're in on this trade. It takes some heat, doesn't take the stop out, and then goes and goes and goes and goes and goes until finally we get a close below the trading stop and we take that out. Now this happens a lot. If I go to right now, live on live data, this is where we are. Okay, so we had a long this morning uh, during the European morning. We had a short trading stop taken out. I actually traded this just to, to make sure I could understand uh, how and what sort of slippage didn't get quite get the order I wanted to here so I am going to uh, look at different types of market orders as I uh, go on with this uh, but the main thing is we took out that stop around about break even there but we've got to do that because then a couple of bricks later we get the short and we move nicely with this short now the next trade we didn't get a trade here. We didn't get a signal. It took out the trading stop. We had that little rise on the roller coaster. Then it came back down again. And then we got the red arrow on this close of this brick. And then the next brick we followed through. And right now, this is where we are right now live. We are, uh, we're not printing a break even, but the, the trade is profitable. As you can see, this is a very, very powerful uh, strategy on this settings uh, for Unirenko. But we don't always... The, the criteria for a re, for a sort of responding long trade after this great short trade wasn't there. So the software did not print the signal to go long. Instead, it turned the, the, the price action turned around and we got the short signal to go short. So this is a very, very simple strategy, guys. Uh, but there's just some very basic rules to follow. We, we know all the calculations are done behind the scenes. The stochastic MACD 
across. There's another three or four points of control in there that's all calculated behind. We get the signal arrow on the close of a brick. This is Unirenko uh, on the Ninja Trader. Very, very uh, strong with this uh, trading strategy. The next brick goes through. We're looking to get a market order short. And then all we do is adjust the stop until it gets taken out. Do the same again, do the same again, do the same again. It's eat, sleep, repeat. Wait for the signals and go for it. And so that's that's it. Very simple. Check out the links below on the video here to uh, take advantage of the Ninja Trader roller coaster. But also it is available for other uh, other trading platforms. I know other trading platforms don't have Unirenko, uh, but it works very well on Renko as well uh, and normal candles. But I, I just think Unirenko really sort of lends itself to this roller coaster type strategy. Hopefully that helps. Speak to you all really soon.